Today we are taking a look at a very common problem in toasters. When you press the lever down, it doesn't stay and it just keeps springing back up. It's a very common problem and before you throw your toaster away, let's try and fix it. Hey Nip Tags and welcome, this is Ash from Hill My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. On this channel, I'm trying to help you develop a better relationship with tech, so consider subscribing and click the bell icon. So very common problem in toasters, and please don't try to buy a new toaster every six months or every year, it's ridiculous, all right? Most problems in toasters can be fixed. Now the first thing to understand is this problem is that the lever won't stay down, okay? It's springing back up, right? Very common problem but we have power and if you can see there's an led light happening here so this fix is going to be different to a toaster that's actually not even powering on for that you have to sort out the power problem now the first obvious thing to do you might be surprised is just disconnect your toaster and give the toaster a good clean most people don't do that it could be very simple that some of the crumbs of the bread is just stuck and it's preventing the lever to catch into its latch or notch whatever you call that so you know get your toaster out take out the tray give it a good thorough clean sometimes you might be surprised this will actually fix your issue do remember to unplug it before you give it a clean okay now if that doesn't work for you and uh, please try something else you can try and do sometimes the lever because it's plastic it will only catch in a very specific position i'm going to show you so right now if i just press down on the lever and i'm pushing to the left it springs back up can you see that okay let me just put it uh, plugged in i forgot to do that uh, okay i've plugged it in so if i press on the lever and I'm pushing to the left, it springs back. Can you see the LED light comes on? Yeah? And then I let go and it springs back. But now if I press on the lever and I'm pushing it to the right, watch it, now it should catch. Can you see that? It catches because it's pushing to the right. So what that means is this lever there's a bit of mechanical issue behind it, which is preventing it to be caught at a certain position. Now, you could potentially just make sure you always, you know, when you push down, try to find a position which it catches, but that is, a, that is not a fix, it's just like a workaround temporarily. What you potentially could be doing is make the other side also problematic. So the best thing to actually do in this case is to disconnect your plug all right because we're going to open it and it's usually quite easy to open by the way this video is not sponsored yeah i'm not recommending you buy this specific toaster uh, so once you've disconnected it and please if you're not very comfortable with handling electronics or opening stuff do not do it this is only like a reference tutorial i uh, don't want to be responsible for you causing damage to yourself or property uh, turn your toaster the other way around and at the back usually you will find screws uh, there would be different screws depending on your make and model and first of all remove your tray okay and you've got two screws here and you get you got three and four screws and that's a bit of a problem that manufacturers keep doing they keep putting weird screws that prevent you or at least discourage you to try and open your device it's quite ridiculous in the guise of under the guise of safety so I've got this Phillips screw kind of loose. Now for the other ones, I'm going to need the star key. It's always handy to have a bit of a different screw set, screwdriver set. I'm going to put a link below, but do bear in mind that over the years I've come to know that there are so many types of screws, it's ridiculous. All right, I found one that seems to work. All right, once you've got the screws out, you may need to remove this lever to be able to take the top cover off. So pull this clip out and open up the top now the controller board is uh, connected to the other board you just have to press the clip to remove it there you go that comes off and we'll put that to the side so you got this little black kind of latch or knob whatever you want to call it and uh, have a physical look because sometimes it could be very easy to just see the problem so this, when you press down, is supposed to catch into this latch and clips so it doesn't come back. And this clips, it doesn't come back on. So I'm going to plug this in just to test it again. 
just gonna put that little clip on there. All right, so this uh, controller board, it was clipped onto the main board here. So I removed it and this was also screwed near where the knobs are inside. There was three screws in there. And the reason I removed it is because I wanted to, to be able to see what's happening to the mechanism. So I removed the controller board, clipped it back on and then plugged it in because unless you do this, the mechanism is not going to lock in. So what I ended up happening is when I was pulling, pushing down, I could not see anything obvious that would stop the lever from sticking. So it could be a few reasons, it could be just normal wear and tear. And as you can see, you've got a plastic clip here and a plastic clip here. And you've also got a metallic uh, contact point here. So when it's touching, it's activating some sort of magnetic metallic uh, electrical field so for the lever to stay down. So because I could not see anything obvious that would stop the lever from pressing down, the only other solution or problem could be just there was a buildup of dirt, okay? So it is always a good idea. I took the toaster out, give everywhere a good clean, especially near the mechanism. You might see there are debris, like little bits of crumbs and stuff. And once I, I did that, I'm retesting. I'm gonna plug the clip back on, okay? And we're gonna put the power back on. We'll test it. Again, just to remind you, be careful at this stage. If you're not comfortable with electronic stuff, do not attempt this on your own, okay? You need a qualified person. So now, if we press down, it's sticking, okay? Um, it looks like it's worked. I'm not having to manipulate it. Let me unplug it. So I'm gonna control it. Let me try again. So every time pressing down, it looks fine. One more time. It looks fine. So in our case, we were a little bit lucky in terms of it was not any of the uh, tiny mechanisms. It was just a question of there was probably a collection of dirt from the um, breadcrumbs over time it, it will happen now the point is unless you open up the toaster and physically have a look it is impossible to know what could cause the problem now in other cases if you have a different model it could be anything from this little clip here that's damaged it could be this clip holder that's damaged it could be just normal wear and tear um, it could be you know the metallic um, clip here it could be anything really so you really got to find out um, but the question you have to ask yourself, if this is a 10 pounds toaster, in my case it wasn't, it was, I think it was about 25 pounds, but this is like my fourth toaster. Uh, is it worth your time? Can you get it repaired by someone else? Probably not. Something you have to figure out and consider. And now I'm gonna put this back together. Hopefully it should work. Okay, so I've screwed the uh, controller board back in and now we're gonna clip it to the other board. Put the cover back on. and put the little clip for the lever. And now we're gonna plug it into the mains and test it. Press it down and it stays. We got the LED, so Bob's your uncle, that's sorted. And voila.